You, but you understand it? Yeah. All right, good, bro. Please, bro. Let me know if you not understand it, all right? I'm trying to break it down as soon as possible. Bro. All right. Now, so we know levels. We know structure, right? Levels, key levels. Where price is turning back, where price is getting support. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The structure, what's going on in the market? Are they going up? Are they going down? Are they not really doing anything? Trading range. Anytime you're like, damn, bro, I just tried to go long. Damn, I just tried to go short. Maybe both of them don't work out. You break even and you make a little bit of money. Let me see if they're in the trading range. Automatically. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're going to go into some candles, bro. And I actually have some pictures. I took some pictures. going to build the ingredients of your strategy. This right here. You got to always be focused on this. Like for instance, this right here, the trend line. These bars are the nice bars to see out of nowhere. Because remember, they pushed up once, they came back down, they pushed up again, then all of a sudden, basically, what happens is these bars, most of the time, at these areas, like I said, they start like that. They start like big, but like this. And then they turn them into that. So that's what you want to, if you're showing, you want to see those at your entry, right? Yep. You want to see those at the second time when they try to go up. If you're going long, you want to see this the second time they try to go short. Notice how these bars have wicks at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So they caught the sellers. They trapped them in. They acted like it was going to be the second try down, right? That we would be looking for in a downtrend. So some people, again, they're just basically driving out here with no roadmap. And if you're driving out here with no roadmap, you're just going to, oh, looks 
like a whatever sign. I don't know what kind of sign that is. Let me just try it. Nah. You want it to be clear. Like this, these are these are very good signs that the sellers have just been basically evaporated. Especially this one. This is called a hammer right here. We're gonna get more into candlestick after this, but I wanted to show you the whole recipe and how we're gonna break it down. But this is a hammer. The hammer, really good sign to go on all the time. Well, I should, I should not, not all the time, I should say, because it all depends. Like, are you just gonna buy a hammer in the middle of nowhere? Nah. You want to buy a hammer like this. See how they went into the support? And then you see the sellers basically just get, again, clapped. They just got eaten. Because this was a full bar like this. And then slowly over time, they ate that up, ate that up, ate that up. And they just changed it into this. So you basically, what you just saw right there, in my opinion, what I call it is, I say slap violation, because that's, that was, they, the bears are clearly coming in strong. Or, or the, you know, the bears were clearly coming in strong right there. Then all of a sudden, it's just boom. So now, I'll be looking to take one tick above this. One tick above that, and the stop loss is one tick below here, and then again go for the two for one, or if you can hold it back to the resistance, the, the closest place where you see resistance. Um, I want to give you some more examples. For instance, okay, let's try. So you see how I said this right here. Now also, sometimes, I don't say color don't, doesn't matter sometimes, but you gotta pay attention. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you could have a bar like this, but the top is red. To me, that's still a, a bullish bar. Maybe the sellers had a little bit of fight, but depending on where it is, that's still a bullish bar to me. I don't, I don't care if they, they would draw it like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They try to do that, okay. But now, in context, right? Let's say this is like, let's say this is like this. Hold on. Let me show you the context why I say sometimes color. Color doesn't matter. So let's say we're going down right here, right? See how the bars keep getting smaller, slowly? That's deceleration right there. Anytime I see deceleration, I'm looking for it slowly to curve back up the other side. Hey, bars were big, 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 and then all of a sudden, small, 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 all right, the buys are coming in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I get down here now, if I see something like, let's say this bar formed like this, right? That's how it started. But then, they really changed this thing before it ends like this. If this was the second push down, I'm taking it. So let's say, oh shoot. That's the signal so long, right? Exactly. Let's just say this was above here. Alright. Let's say they already tried to go short down here. So this is the first entry short, right? And this is the second entry short. You know what I mean? I tried it right here. And let's say this right here is the low. This is the previous low. So I'll build, I'll build the rest of the story for you. Let's see you look at it. Uh, yeah, what? Damn, this thing is stuck. I got to leave this one. So that's the low right here. And all of a sudden, you know, like this. Hold on. I want it to make a little bit more sense. 
Let's say it's coming from up here, right? Down here. Right? All right. This is the low. And they tried first time to go back to the low. Right? So this was the low right here. This was the first try. Right off the back, I start putting it into context. I start thinking about these right away because I'm trying to recognize structure, right? This low, I already see, is higher than this low. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I already start thinking, hmm, all right, well, gotta be looking for that. This high is now probably higher than the last high that was it. But I'm not really worried about that. I focus on the opposite of where I'm trying to go. If I'm trying to go up, I'm focused on who's trying to go short. If I'm trying to go short, I focus on who's trying to go long. Because you want to take their mistakes. And their mistakes are going to move fast for you. You know what I'm saying? For it, every time, remember, every time you're going in the market, bro, somebody else taking your order. You know what I'm saying? So now, let's see. That happens. So this is the first try. Pull back, second try. And this low again is higher than that low. So now you got a higher low, right? You got a second entry long, I mean second entry short. You're looking for a second entry long. What you're doing before it happens, you're looking for it to now have that other push up. And you're looking for it because it's making the upwards trend. Exactly, you're looking to take this until at least the next high. Exactly, you got right up. You know what I'm saying? I told you you're gonna get it, dog. I'm looking. This is freaking longer. So basically, I gotta get this shit out of here. I don't know how the top is coming on, but. I see if you can grab this. Mm -hmm. You can grab that green part. If not, that's all good. It's not my hand, it's my piece. Uh, bro, it's the same. Uh, the, the freaking lamb we was telling you. Oh, that was the lamb? Yeah. Bro, I did not just eat a lamb. Bro, bro what you mean? <laughs> you didn't want to eat that? Nah, what? I thought it was beef. Bro, bro, you can see the lamb chop. <laughs> I thought that was a beef rib. No, no way. It got to be a lamb chop. So, bro, when I see this, and I see the, the push up, I'm putting my entry one tick above there. Right? Yeah. Remember, I'm I'm now making my inference. I'm now I have an idea of where this is gonna go. I'm looking to take this at least to up here. And you wanna put your loss below the uh, wig, right? One yeah, exactly. One tick below that. Now what you are hoping for is for a price to do something like this. Boom, you're in the trade. Boom, you're in the trade. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That second entry, second entry long, second entry short, very powerful. Very powerful. Now, again, I told you I'm giving it to you in bits and pieces because I know you already know a lot of it. Imagine this line is that EMA line. That's even better. If you see it, if you see them try to touch the EMA, all right, let's say, let me, let me erase this. If you see, let's see the EMA was doing something like this, right? You see that they come one time to the EMA. That's the main move I remember. This, all this is, is a median of where price should be. Now remember, the calculation is so on point that price usually has to pull back to it. No matter how far, no matter how long, it gotta pull back to it because it's the median price. So it's already averaging the price for the day. It's, it's gonna line up to it at some point. That's why I, I really kind of look for a trade. I look for EMA, I look for support or resistance, and I look for the structure.
and then I look for these bars right here at the EMA or at the trend line. If you like think about it, bro, like you got a maybe a restaurant. You ever been to a restaurant and they're like, oh yeah, you gotta have dress clothes on or you gotta have this on or something like that? Like they basically do that down here. Like you can't go into any anywhere with a t-shirt. Wear anything? Yeah. That's what you gotta become. I'm not looking for any any trade here. I'm looking for these set of people right here. <laughs> when I see these set of people in the spots that I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, you could even say this, you could even say this is green all of a sudden because you see one bounce, two bounce. So let's say this is four. I'm looking, again, same thing here. I just try to build you a story around these, you know what I mean? I'm looking for the support. I'm looking for the sellers to try to boss through that shit. Basically, like they think, okay, yeah, we got them now. The support is weak. Oh, yeah. They'll let them push in there, bro, and get real comfortable. And then because they want people to set their stop loss. That's basically what we're trying to catch. Remember, a stop loss is a stop loss for us, it's not a stop loss for everybody else. Yeah. It's just an order. So when somebody comes down and buys that order, it's over. You, you gotta sell it. You know? They gotta sell it. And one time if you get trapped, remember now other people start buying, right? When they see this. So now all this other people are buying, there's already uh, stop losses there, there's a they already just got trapped, this should bounce out of here. Nice, easy two to one. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You got any questions right now? Oh, um, no, nah, not really. But you get it what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, we're going to go into a little bit more. Here. I'm really sure I'm going to erase these candles because I want you to see them. Maybe I'll draw them back at the top for you. Because bro, those candles, uh, that's bread and butter, bro. You you be able to find those candles in your key entry points. That's that's money, bro. Like easy money. But again, you gotta make sure right context. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if you're trying to take those bars at the wrong place, just oh, any anywhere, like bro, you, they could be an uptrend. And then there could be a red ball. I don't mean it's going down. That just mean somebody just sold what they just took. You know what I mean? So it's not, oh, I see a red ball. I start trying to sell. Yeah, isn't that a part of the um, uptrend? You got the uh, higher highs and the higher lows. Higher lows, exactly. But you see how people get tricked. It's so easy to be like, Seeing this right here. Oh, it's going up. Oh, it's going up. Oh, it's going up. And then, but all of a sudden, you see, you see the red right here. Some people, bro, it just be like, oh, auction must be over. That's crazy, bro. What is telling you that? Nothing but because you see the red candle. For me, I try to get three reasons. Right? So my three reasons, bro, I try to do something like this. I got one. Um, let's see. Support or resistance. Remember, same thing as your supply and demand, which I'm gonna explain to you so you don't mix it up too much. Alright? Then I'm looking for structure. Really, I should say, really I should say this goes all into structure. But then I'm still looking for support and resistance before I take a trade. That's the main thing because I'm basically trying to find more people that's going to be on my side tapping in instead of the buyers tapping in. You know what I'm saying? So I know if I'm selling and there's resistance up there, I know that other people that's going to sell with me. This lady on. Hello.